right, so today we're going to take a look at reversing a EFT payment um, and the options you have when doing that. So I've got just an example register here pulled up and we'll go ahead and open up a EFT payment. So you would be on the register for whatever tenant's payment you would want or need to reverse. Um, and you would just open that payment up um, and you will click on actions down at the bottom and reverse electronic transaction. This is going to bring up the screen that's going to show you the two options you have. Now this particular example payment has already been reversed and um, it's showing canceled so it doesn't give you the option to credit the resident's checking account but you want to be careful when you're dealing with these two so you want to read the description on both to see exactly what you want to accomplish. So the first option does not credit the resident's checking account. This would just be reversing the transaction um, that's already been sent through. Um, this may be if it's erroring out um, or along those lines. If it's approved, you probably don't want to be going this route um, because you actually do have the funds. But if it's not approved, if it's erroring um, or stuck in sending or something along those lines, you can click on this. Um, does not credit the resident. It's going to basically just take that transaction off of the account. All you have to do is just click that one button, hit OK, and that will reverse that transaction. No credit will be sent. It's just going to simply take that payment off the register. Again, you're only going to want to do that for payments that are um, that are that you did not receive. Um, the second option is going to be for payments that you did receive, they were approved, and you, the tenant or uh, student or whoever is asking for that money back. So maybe it's they're going to switch up, pay a different method, um, for whatever reason, you need to send them the money back. You're going to choose the second option. Now, this one is going to send the funds back through them automatically once you reverse it. So once you hit this, you check this option, hit OK. Um, it's going to ask you to send now. You'll send it through, kind of like sending the payment back to them. Now, this one um, will send them the exact amount. There's no way to customize the amount. So it's a send back of all the money or none of the money. So once you send that back, they will get the refund regardless of whether it returns or not. So I usually advise people to only check the second option that credits the resident's checking account after you've had that payment process for five business days. That ensures that you've definitely kept the money and it will not be hit with an ACH return. We run into sometimes where you may reverse it, issue a credit, and then the next day or two days later, that original payment gets hit with an ACH return and gets sent back to them an additional time. So then they end up owing you the money twice. So if you want to send them a credit uh, and it's been five business days, choose that second option. If you um, do not want to send them a credit and it's you just did not get the money, you just need a reversal on the transaction, you just hit that second, that first option. Um, and you'll always be able to keep an eye on what you actually did here. Um, so if you've sent one without a credit, it's just going to say canceled. If you've sent Chosen, chosen that second option, you've actually sent a credit, it's going to show approved underneath. So that's kind of a, a way to look back at a transaction that's been reversed and know exactly what um, was done with it.